Welcome to the project demonstration of night patrolling robots by using Arduino Uno and ESP32 camera. So here we are using four sound sensors which are placed in the four sides of our robots and whenever the sound detected, for example if any sound detected for the left side, then automatically the robot will turn to the left side and move forward for two seconds and then it will capture the photo and that will be sent to the register email ID. Sound detection will be done by the Arduino Uno board and email sending will be done by this ESP32 camera. So the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery and uh, next uh, it will be supply voltage for the DC motors through this L293D motor driver and the operating voltage of our Arduino Uno and ESP32 camera and our four sound sensors is 5 volt. So in order to regulate that 12 volts to 5 volts we are making use of this LM2596 voltage regulator which will take 12 volts DC input and provide us the 5 volts DC output. So that will be given as input to this breadboard from here we are distributing that to the input and output modules. So here the main purpose of this project is it will act as a night patrolling robot whenever the sound detected. So this we are demonstrating purpose only like uh, we are detecting the sounds any sound but in real time we will replace these uh, sound sensors with help of the microphones and uh, replace the Arduino you know with help of the Raspberry Pi. So in that case if is there any particular voice like a screaming or a help voice like that will be detected then the particular microphone informed to the Raspberry Pi say from uh, this side I am getting a, like a screaming or like a threshold sounds then the system will turn to the side and remaining operation is going to be the same and also we can improve that with help of GSM and GPS to get the particular location where the sound is coming from. Coming to the interfacing connections, we have interfaces for sound sensors H, A0, A1, A2, A3 and L293 motor driver H9, 10, 11 pins and ESP32 camera is connected at the transmitting pin of our Arduino you know. So and uh, before demonstration, uh, the first step is keep the battery under full charge. So for that purpose, we are providing this charging circuit. Connect the battery at the slot. Okay. And uh, leave the charger at least of 6 hours, maximum of 8 to 9 hours. So if you forgot to uh, switch off the charging charger also, no need to worry about that. This charging circuit will block the current flow whenever the battery is fully charged so that we can protect the battery from overcharging. So once the time completes, you can just disconnect this charger from the transformer and keep that aside. The next step is on the hotspots as we need to provide the hotspot for the ESP32 camera to send the mail alerts. So change the hotspot name to project 5 i 2 without any space, without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 GHz. After that enable the hotspot and data. Right? Now you can on that. So once you on, there is a light indication on the UNO board will on and off two times. Then after that particular light will continuously blinks. That's indication of we are detecting the sound. If any sound detects, the light stops blinking and the process is going on, capturing photo, email sending and once the total process was done, then again it start blinking. So it is monitoring the sounds again. So like that. Okay, let us see the demonstration. Right. So just open the screaming sound in a YouTube. Okay. And now on the system. So after LED blinking on off, now it's continuous blinking. So if you make any sound, you can observe that. Shut it back and forward again. Right. I will demonstrate that uh, on the ground also. Just wait for the email. It will take maximum 20 to 30 seconds for the email arrived. Right, our email said now it is passing again, and also we can set the sensitivity of this potentiometer. Now, the second light will on whenever the sound detects, but if it's continuously on, we can decrease the sensitivity, we can increase the sensitivity. So, for that purpose, clockwise is uh, decreasing the sensitivity, and the clockwise we can increase the sensitivity. You can try that. So, when you're rotating that, if the second light is on for a small sound, also that is a less sensitivity. So, like that, we can uh, check that.
page so click the load data speed we got the email now so right this is the image we have received now so here i will show the demonstration on the ground so main thing is remember the steps write down now on a paper before demonstrating this project first step keep the battery under full charge second step on the hotspot and data with a name prescribed in the video and the next when you on the cage then you can on the cage and the third step is you should see one device is connected in your mobile phone see one device is connected so then only the photos can be sent if it is not showing one device connected after switch on the kit also within two to five seconds then off and on okay so now wait for the this image let they will come and let us demonstrate on the floor more taking more time right so we got the emails so getting pretty slow right okay this one is a recent image as a front image and this is the Previously, before the uh, second uh, testing video, same like if you make the sound at the front side. Right. Okay. So, yeah, that it is the last one. It is taking some time. Forty. So this is my last match. Right.